Hello everyone, this is Greer Bakhmadov and today I want to show a solution from one of my workshop examples. So I have a to-do MVC application and let's say we want to visit a page. Uh, right now it can have some to-dos, it might have no to-dos. So I want to make sure that I'll set the to-dos using a fixture file. So I have a fixture file with two items. I can load the fixture using fixture command to items JSON. And then I get to do's, which is an array, and I can reset the data using a utility method. That utility method is called the, the task reset data, and I just have to pass the to do's. Okay, so notice this uh, first item for a fixture, second item for a fixture, which are right here. So imagine I want to actually modify, and I don't want to have first item from a fixture. I want to modify the fixture data before I use it to reset it. So I can definitely do that. Let's say this. And I can say list first item title. And I'll say first. And I'll return the updated list. So now we have the list. So I want to confirm that every item that we reset the data is actually displayed. Well, where is the data? It's right here. So we can move visit into the callback that's fine cypress will automatically adjust the chain of commands it's executes in the same order then we can say that we don't have two to do's we don't know how many to do's we have you know whatever is loaded right and passed this to do's parameters that's how many to do's we have to have so in this case it's two and we can even iterate over the data and say for each to do we can get the I like to do actually let me just check what the text contains and to do title so we'll iterate and say there is first to do and second item from a fixture and we can update this as well second so this is doable that's how I would probably start but then maybe the structure of the object or the fixture file changes so we still know that we want to modify this text and replace it with first exclamation point. But we don't know where in the list or, you know, fixture JSON it is. So can we somehow load this fixture and update it as text and use you know, string replace instead of modifying uh, the JSON object? So we can do the following to change it back into the string. We can say JSON stringify. This will give us a string and then we can take this text and we can say text replace and what was it uh, first item from a fixture with first exclamation point and because we converted the object into a string we need to convert back json uh, parse perfect uh, we can of course replace each string one by one so we can say was it a second item from the fixture? Second. So that's nice. But one other thing that I might suggest is that, you know, you're taking whatever the subject is and you're just calling replace method. You can use built-in invoke, which takes the name of a method and any arguments as parameters. So you can do the same thing using the invoke and we can do the same thing several times. So we just keep yielding the result into the next command. And because we probably don't care about showing these things right here, we can log false this. Now notice invoke is different from other commands because the options object is in the first position. Uh, in every, everything else, it's usually the last one. So for example, if I want to remove this task because I don't need to see it in the log, I would put the options at the end, but not for invoke. Okay, now this works great. There is one more thing that's available in Cypress version 9. Usually, when you load the file, it automatically gets parsed according to whatever type Cypress determines it to be. So JSON files are automatically parsed as a JSON object. But there is a new option. You can pass the encoding as null. In this case, it will just give you a buffer. Okay, so right here we have a buffer at this point and to convert the buffer into string because we know that json is a string 
we can invoke to string. All right. So we got the buffer object, which is very convenient if you want to upload a file, generate an image, things like that. But we convert the meter back to string, replace parts of the string, convert it into a JSON array, and use it down the line in 5.s. So for more examples like this, exercises that you can do yourself to learn all the basics of testing with Cypress, see my repository, Cypress Workshop Basics.